Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Sibling Stand channel. My name is Wingless Dragon. Behind me is a floating pet dragon. There's a lot of meta here. <laughs> Today, we're gonna talk about prestiging and more specifically, steps that you should take when prestiging on MC Hub's Atlantic Prisons. Right now, I'm transitioning from prestige three to four, but what we'll discuss today is quickly what you should do leading up to prestige one, and then what you should look to do when you're prestiging between uh, one to two, two to three, three to four and so on. And I'll show what I've done so far and go from there. This will be a bit more ad hoc into all the steps that I take from start to finish when prestiging, from before prestiging all the way to after prestiging and showcasing how fast I can get ranked up once I prestige afterwards. So follow me, hope this helps and let's get started. Woo! I made a video a while back highlighting what you should do step by step and what you should look out for step by step. And those are still relevant to this day, but there's a few new things to take into account. Needless to say, take a look at that video if you haven't had a chance. It might be old, but it's still a goodie. Yeah. So, but this will be a quick recap of some of the additional things to look out for. Now, before going from prestige zero to one and kind of your initial progress, there's loads of things you want to do first. First is making sure that you've been working on your mining path for a while. Right now I've maxed out this and this will be critical between going from the other procedures that are on just because all of the perks are so helpful for you transitioning from one prestige to another. The free tokens at such a high level will give you so much money early on to rank up quickly. Moab still to this day, when, when you're able to have access to a large mine, will help you a lot. Lucky keys can be held on to for right after you've prestige, you can unlock all the keys that you want and get all the extra goodies that can help you transition past it. Lucky chests, those as well can give you money, can give you extra uh, items as well to help you up. And then lucky balls, is also something that'll help you a lot. These are kept even when you transition from prestige zero to one and so on on any of the prestiges. And those are huge because if you check storage, I now have 1,717. And if I claim these, there's gonna be a huge amount that I can utilize to rank up or upgrade my stuff initially when I've transitioned. And I'll show that when that happens. You've got a few extra keys here that you might have because you've had your mining path leveled up. And then also lucky chests that can help as well. All those are just E tokens that you can utilize after you've prestige because once you prestige all e tokens are reset the drills are reset the robots are reset but not the storage and that's going to help you a lot so keep that in mind something else you can end up doing as well is just storing up e token pouches and utilizing them after you've prestige as well because these do not count for the reset and so you can add these after the fact and help you grow quickly from one rank to another after you you've prestige. Now, another thing before you've prestiged the first time you should make sure that you've done is upgrade your quarry. This will take some time to do because fortune and efficiency, you need to get specific gem or items to upgrade. And then you have to have all the e-token to slowly upgrade these up. But these are going to be a great means of getting funds as well early on when not mining so that you can advance forward, even if you were just uh, sitting there for a while. So those are just quick tips on things to get set up beforehand so that you are ready to prestige from one to another. Lastly, and this is mostly because you're going to be playing and you're going to be getting these, but drills and robots will be reset. You want to claim them before you do anything, but you'll see that I've been upgrading a netherite drill and I, this is the only one I've upgraded on all of them. And while they're, it's not useful now, this will be very useful after a transition because I'm at a point now where I'll get two billion and a half, if not more, if my efficiency was higher every hour. And even if this was just 10%, I'd end up getting still in the high millions every hour while I start regaining all of the E tokens that I need to rank up and move forward. So these things become very useful. I would say drills are probably more useful than robots. And I have four netherite robots and you can see that the netherite robots don't give me as much and the efficiency drops much faster than the drills. And that's mostly because of Drill Maniac. Once you get to a point where you can up max upgrade, this becomes so useful in retaining the capabilities of your drill for much longer. This will be critical when you're processing yourself from uh, several tiers and you need that money moving forward 
forward while you're mining as well. The drills will be there to help you. It'll increase that efficiency so significantly to be able to move you forward. As usual, when we reset, you'll see me upgrade these. We'll talk a little bit about these as we go, but just make sure that you know to get on top of these as soon as possible once you've transitioned. Now, last thing before we transition and prestige is your backpack enchantments. You'll see that I've been upgrading the capacity immensely and I'll do it again to increase it as much as possible. Why this is important is this is the only thing out of all of your enchantments that you get to retain. Not the auto sell, not the sell multi, not the prospector, but the capacity. You get to keep 20% of this. Now, if you could see how much I have now, I will have 160 million to start with capacity. And that's gonna be a perfect amount that I need to get started again once I've prestige to the next level of prestige. Work with that, make sure you have more than enough on that. It should be the, like the last things that you spend any of your E tokens on that you've accumulated. So without further ado, let's go prestige. You'll see that I'm at prestige level three. These are some of the perks that I've been able to increase on. It'll keep track of like all the times that you've prestige just for the fun of it. You'll see it took a while for the first week, but then the other ones, if I'm focused on it, I could do it another four days. This prestige four will be a, a little higher because I was focusing on other things, but you'll see it'll track all the progress that you've made. And you can always like see if you can go faster or not. Prestige will reset your e-tokens, Omni tool and mine rank. So again, yeah, your whole mind's gonna be starting back to one, but that's why you, you've prepped, right? You've made sure that you've got your e-tokens from the pouches, the balls, all that stuff. It's gonna help you a lot. In exchange for increased cell multiplier, Omni tool XP, blocks gain, phantom picks, auto miners, and ones. All those are just gonna be slowly better and it'll help you move forward faster in the next prestige. And it does get a little bit faster and it's kind of fun to see how much quicker you can get from the next prestige once you've gotten everything sorted out. Prestiging will also give you tokens to upgrade and that's like from the prestige shop. You'll see that I have some available and you'll see what I've been focusing on, but this is up to anyone at this point. So let's enter prestige mode. This will give you just kind of like a, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure about the e-tokens? Yes. Omni tool? Yes. Backpack? Everything except 20%. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Make sure that you are set for that so that you have the space that you need. A rank of mine will be reset to one. Drills, pending balances will be gone. That's fine. I've spent them. Uh, your auto miner and chance will be reset. So this is something uh, that I didn't talk about. And I don't actually use the auto miners much, but there are people that have multiple auto miners and they do help. So note that this is, you'll have to reset it. When you get to the next prestige, do aim to try to upgrade at least the fortune right off the bat, just like you would uh, upgrade your fortune so that you're able to get a little bit extra moving forward. But that's basically just saying that it's gonna be reset as well. Acknowledge and then boom, prestige, prestige, everything reloads and boom. We've gone back to zero and you'll see that already so much is reset and we'll go over everything that's been reset now if you check omni tool boom right off the bat i've got barely anything and i've got no money to spend right now so let's go through the process of what i'm going to be spending to move forward now Woo! so you'll notice already that like my quarry is already trying to get us money and all these blocks are taking time to sell so these are stuff that you're gonna want to get on top of immediately so right off the bat let's go to storage let's claim all of the lucky balls boom i'm already at 20 uh, 244 million so what we want to do right now is I want to up the fortune right off the bat. That's going to be useful for any of the things that I sell. Go to backpack. We need to up the auto sell to a certain point. Uh, let's do a thousand. Uh, I can do 2000 for now. That'll be fine. Sell multi. We'll focus that on a little bit later. Uh, prospector, you want to max that to 10 immediately. And you'll see my capacity retained itself 173 million. Perfect. We don't need to touch that right now. It was mostly the auto sell. So things could start moving forward quickly and get just as much going as much as possible. So you'll see we're not getting too, too many tokens right off the bat. So we want to move and rank up as much as possible so that we can get things moving along quickly. Core machines working. The drills are working. If I go check drills right now, already they've made like 17 million. All those are very useful. So fortune has been up. You could do this a little later, but you can also up the fortune on your auto miner as well. Get that moving ahead. If you're like me and you've worked on getting a wand as well, you can start using that as well, but it is not necessary at this time 
you're focusing on just trying to get things moving forward very quickly. Now you could be using the uh, the e-token pouches. I'm not going to in this example, but you could absolutely get your things moving forward on that as soon as possible. Rank up next. I want to make sure that I'm not spending all of my ranks on just upgrading my mine because I do want to get the efficiencies of my pickaxe increased, but you'll see how quickly I'm ranking up my mine during this process. I'm already at 160, 180. I've already transitioned to the next map. Uh, I think we're going to stop at rank 220 right now. I still got 77 million to go. And this is all stuff I can claim and I'll, I'll be moving forward as well. But like that's that's already moved us forward significantly and already uh, about like an eighth, almost an eighth of the way into the progress already. And you'll see that my cell summary is increasing uh, quickly as well from all of the uh, abilities that I have. Right now I'm just using Beacon Obliterator uh, and my wand. Any skins that you have is useful. If you don't have them, that's fine. So long as you've uh, done your precautions on everything else, it, it'll work out. Now let's start focusing on upgrades. You want to start getting jackhammer and explosives moving forward as well. Prosperity will probably take some time to move forward as well, but jackhammer and explosives, you want to try to get these up as much as possible because these are the things that are going to upgrade your pickaxe quickly so you can start unlocking down all of the tiers that you need again to get all of the funds and all the money, especially once you can get to shadow clone where that's going to be very useful in triggering all of the abilities over and over again afterwards. But yeah, it's just a basic game of, okay, how much do I want to spend on that? Oh, I don't have that much, but let's put 200 there. Let's put 200 there. Okay, I can put 300. I can put 300. So already you're you're increasing that a little bit. And while you're going to be doing your mining slowly, you'll be getting the experience you need for your pickaxe to start moving forward. So these are very important. You want to work on that so that you can move forward. Now, you'll see that I've just been mining normally, not doing anything, but you'll see the mining path is absolutely accumulating stuff that, that is helping move things forward very quickly. You saw that I got 200 and like 70 ish million, but just from the mining path, I'm already at 464 million. Wait a second. That's just from the mining path? Absolutely. And that's already going to help you a lot. That's why you want to have the mine kind of working itself out slowly, because even if your multiplier is not as high as it was before, you are going to get low of money just for the mining path just for the quarry machine just from like uh, other modes that are helping you move forward so you could start getting the reset going on your mine oh it just reset uh, with me at the bottom that's fine your mining path percentage is still going to be present there and while the lucky balls and the crates that you've been unlocking will help you out just getting the e-tokens from the mining path is going to be a significant move ahead boom i just made another 220 million another 73 million so we're almost at 1 billion already just from moving a little bit forward because of the mining path early on when your mining path isn't maxed out you're not going to get as much as quickly but you're still going to get a significant amount that's going to help you a lot so that's why mining path is such an important start in my opinion a lot of people have other methods but this is the way that i've been doing it so far and it's really gotten me moving forward very quickly let's see if i can trigger it one more time and then we will go to the next steps of what we need to do to move forward lastly when you're mining as well you're wanting to get your drills back to 100% efficiency because that's another thing that's going to help you a lot already I'm good I'm at 13% only and already every hour I'm gonna get half a billion and I'm already at 44 million as well so that's another thing that's just going to increase and move things forward very quickly boom mining path just gave me another 400 million I think I'm good to start upgrading things once again and move things forward I tend to try to get the explosive and the jackhammer at 500, uh, but basically these will start becoming very prominent every 1000. But then you have also the drill maniac that you want to try to get up slowly as well so that it starts maintaining its uh, consistency with its efficiency. 
when you have the drills because now it'll take about 30 minutes before the efficiency starts dropping so it'll let you get it'll give you the time that you need to move forward uh but let's go and transition further out i've already made it to 300 now i still got a half a million going on that's amazing now other things you can start focusing on afterwards now is maxing out cell multi i've already gotten six thousand from half a billion and already the multiplier you've seen has gone from 3.44 to 4.0 and i ended the uh, the last prestige at uh 6.07 so that'll work and moab of course i'm gonna take it it's free money but again you can keep just mining for a little bit in your own mind and progressing very quickly upwards as you get the mining path triggered boom just got another 414 million just those are gonna start getting you quickly into the first thousand and then if you've seen the last video that I've made, the Ascendant Mine is also an, I'm a great place to get billions very quickly. So check out that video. It gives one of the best paths that I've seen of getting the most out of the antimatters from the Ascendant Mine to move you forward. So I'll be progressing myself forward. I'll be opening up keys, seeing what other extras that I have going forward. I've been upgrading already the mine. I'll be able to move forward. And it's only been about five, 10 minutes since we've done the reset. So now that I've done the reset, it's just a matter of getting these upgraded slowly but surely. And it won't take you long to max these out or at least maxing out prosperity and drill maniac and every other tier you're going to be maxing out pretty quickly the only two that you're going to be looking to take some time is going to always be jackhammer and explosive but you want to focus on getting these up after you've upgraded fully fortune because every thousand you're going to have a significant boost on how much blocks they get and how often does it trigger so these are very important make sure you always fully upgrade prospector as well you want to get those free gems you want to get those free uh, items you won't need to worry about capacity for a little bit but yes you will be wanting to upgrade this once you've gone back in the, to the point of getting billions on a regular basis but keep an eye on sell multi make sure that you can upgrade that when you can but also set your auto sell up so that you can get rid of the blocks out of your inventory as fast as possible right now you'll see that i've done it at about 3,000, and it didn't take too too long you, later on you're probably going to get up to like twenty thousand, if not more on auto sell and that's going to be more than enough to clear out everything that you do once you trigger your mind on a regular basis before i wrap up the video let's check out the prestige again boom oh it's taking me four days oh no but now i'm at prestige four you'll see that I'm, i've got other buffs that have uh, worked but i haven't spent what i've had so far so i've got a few points left if we check i have four what i could do is spend uh two on automation yeah We'll do that and we'll spend it again. Boom, now both automation and mining power I've upgraded. And so now my drills are gonna be more efficient. My query is gonna be more efficient. And yeah, you can see all of the additional buffs depending on your rank as well. So you do get a little bit of a extras from that. And that's what really sets the next gaming aspect apart from your experience on MC Hub's Atlantic Prisons and gets you kind of a renewal on what you need to do moving forward. You can also purchase a prestige starter pack these can be useful because they're discounted and they're only available for the first 12 hours keep in mind that this is only if you're really active so that you can utilize the massive e token pouches the random mythical boosters and then get a chance on, a, on the monthly crate which just the, the price here is better but you do not need it and that's what i wanted to show today this is really a good example for if you're a free to play player you don't have to spend gold coins just move yourself forward and go at it by the the experience and grinding that you've done and the work that you've done from gaining stuff like more mining path better quarries better leveling up tactics beforehand by keeping all the lucky balls and so on that's all i've got for you today hope this information helps you out on what to do when you're starting to transition between the various prestiges and what to look into doing while you're moving forward i'm looking forward to moving myself up on rank top hope that you're looking to do that as well but i think this is fun it adds an element of it you're not always stuck and once you reach the end to just doing the same old you get to repeat things you get to see how fast you can go 
So there's a little bit of replay value to that. And if you're someone who likes spending gold coins and you have that, well, every time you prestige, you get that discount on getting the little extra items that can help you out. And you can either open up the monthly crate or trade it for uh, someone that can get you better coins. Who knows? There's loads of things you can do on the Atlantic prisons on MC Hub. Thank you very much, everyone. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good night. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Woo. Yeah.